Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another one of my top 10 ranking series. This is where I go through all categories of makeup and let you know what the best of the best is. I love filming these videos because I know you guys have been finding some amazing products. You're getting the best of the best. I try a lot and foundation is probably my number one category that I've tried across the board for makeup. It is my personal favorite to try. I know you've seen dedicated foundation reviews on my channels throughout my entire YouTube career. And it's just one of those things that I love. I don't have perfect skin. I have porous texture, redness, a lot going on. I am normal leaning dry. And I just feel like I have discovered the best foundations out there. I couldn't even list the amount that I've tried. I will literally try anything out there. With that being said, I'm not including skin tints in this video because I already did a top 10 ranking for those. I know a lot of people are gonna be asking about my Beauty Blender skin tint. I can build this up to a foundation. However, I'm not including it in this video because it's in my skin tint category. I love that. Go check out that video if you wanna see a skin tint recommendation. I have a ton of foundations here that are gonna work for everyone, regardless of your age, the coverage you want from a foundation, the finish you want. I literally have everything in here for you. You will find your favorite foundation in here, regardless of whatever skin concern you have. I have something for everyone in here and it's just such a good top 10. This is going to be probably my favorite of the ranking videos I do just because you know my love for foundation. So with all that being said, I know that was a long intro, but this has me excited. I cannot wait to share with you these top 10. So thank you so much for clicking on this video, for spending some time with me today. And if you've not already, I would absolutely love for you to subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell to be notified of all my future videos. And let's jump into my foundation top 10. I have to give an honorable mention to this particular foundation because I recently repurchased it because I've been going back to some old makeup products. I did Estee Lauder Double Wear on my channel and just revisiting some old makeup I used to wear back in the day that I just remember loving and this was one of them. So I picked this up from shoppers recently and this is going to be an honorable mention in my 11th place spot. This is the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua. This is an ultra light skin perfecting makeup. This is super thin skin like. I use the shade 40 beige. I find these to go quite pink though. So that's the only reason why this didn't even make my ranking because of the color selection I feel like for Chanel isn't perfect for me and it's limited. This also has a ton of fragrance in it, but if we're just going off finish how the skin looks, the ease of use for this, this is a 10 out of 10 for all those reasons because it's super thin, skin-like, great coverage for how thin of a product this is, long wearing. It literally checks all my boxes. So for a foundation to even make it into my placement. It has to be one long wearing. It doesn't matter so much about the finish or coverage for me because that can vary. I typically like a medium buildable myself with a natural or satin finish. However, you're gonna see in my video that I have a variety to <laughs> recommend for you guys. This is my honorable mention in my 11th place spot just because I recently picked it up and forgot how beautiful this is on the skin. In my 10th place spot, this is a beautiful foundation you can get at Sephora, and it is from Rare Beauty. The price point is right for Rare Beauty. This packaging is different because it's not a pump. You actually get a really big doe foot applicator in this, so it's kind of like a really large concealer, but it's nice to just dot it on the face. You don't waste any product that way because sometimes with pumps, they can vary with how much they give out. This, you kind of just dot on and go. And what I love about this is how thin it is because it is serum-like and it's long wearing because often with serum foundations, I feel like they can kind of sink into my skin. My skin eats them up because it's more kind of skincare-like and it just absorbs in. So I lose the coverage, the wear, whatever. This doesn't do this. This stays on my skin while looking like skin, super thin, long wearing. I just love how this feels on my skin. So that's why it's in my 10th place spot. Plus the price point is good because Rare Beauty is just well priced on Sephora. Their formulations are so good. So I had to include Rare Beauty in my 10th place spot. 
highly recommend checking out. In my ninth place spot, this is kind of a recent foundation to my collection. And this one is more for the person who wants that really effortless model skin, really radiant, glowy, fresh. This is the Mac Studio Radiance Serum Powered Foundation. This, even more than the Rare Beauty, is so thin. I put this on my face, it literally just blends itself. I cannot tell this is a foundation at all. That's how beautiful it looks like on my skin. For finish, this is probably the closest to skin I've ever tried in this MAC foundation. I did a whole review on this recently and I can see this moving up in my ranking. However, this is newer to me, but I love how my skin looks in this, but this is specifically for people who like radiant finishes because this is one of the most radiant formulas that I've personally used. I feel like with a little bit of powder, then I can get more perfected look, though on its own, this doesn't really emphasize my texture because the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin, it's not in my ranking, but this is kind of what I wanted that foundation to be like, but that one emphasized my pores and texture. So those are two concerns of mine. I don't like things that emphasize those, and even though this is radiant and you would think it would kind of accentuate those, it doesn't, it just sits beautifully on the skin. It is so gorgeous. Literally the most skin-like foundation I've ever encountered on the market is this one and it's from MAC. The only downside of MAC I feel like, even though they have a huge range of shades, their undertones for me are so difficult because they can lead a little too yellow or orange. So it's a little hard for me, if I'm gonna be honest, to find my shade. But I've been using NC27, which I've never used before in a MAC foundation. I'd usually go even all the way up to NC40 for me, but NC27 has been working out really nicely. I find these do go a little bit darker than their Studio Fix range, so just keep that in mind when you're gonna purchase. I will have the full video for this linked above in case you really wanna dive into this foundation, but the most skin-like foundation on the market, model skin. Going to the complete opposite side of the spectrum for the coverage and the wear for this. This is just truly unlike anything out there. It has stood the test of time and I'm sure you'll probably be able to guess my favorite long wear full coverage foundation that falls in my eighth place spot. And it's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. I forgot how much I love this foundation. It is so good. It does not have a pump though. It doesn't even have a doe foot applicator. This is just a pour and pray sort of situation. And <laughs> just hope you get the right amount on your hand. If you're looking for a reliable, long wearing, full coverage, the most full coverage of what I've ever tried foundation, it is this. If you have things to cover, acne spots, rosacea, whatever the case may be that you're looking to cover on your face and you want full coverage, this will be your best friend. There are a couple of drawbacks to this foundation for me. I can't use it every single day because I do find I personally break out with this. As much as I love the formula of this, my skin just doesn't. So that is why it fell into this placement on my ranking just because I have one that's even better than this foundation to me personally. So if you like this sort of foundation, you want something maybe a little bit more natural looking on the skin, still with a great wear, but doesn't clog your pores, my number one foundation is for you. <laughs> I cannot wait to share that one for you guys, but I have one that is way better than this. And that's my number one foundation, so stay tuned. In my seventh place spot, this is also another fantastic foundation. My whole top 10 for me, honestly, I will be repurchasing, replacing. They're all good to me and all serve their own purpose in my collection. As a makeup lover and someone specifically who just enjoys foundation over anything, I can just sing praises of all these products because they're all so good for their own reason. So even though this is in my seventh place spot, this is still an absolute favorite. And this is from House Labs. This is the Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. And this has fermented Arnica in it. That's the whole House Labs rebranding they did with fermented Arnica. And it's just such a great formulation if you want to glow, but look perfecting on the skin. This makes 
makes me look so youthful when I wear it. That's what I love about it. It's like youth in a bottle is the best way to describe this, but a little bit thicker than that MAC foundation. However, I do find this more perfecting and I do like the wear of this better. So that's why it's kind of above that MAC one, but still gives me a model looking skin, just not as thin and skin like. So this one, any age, I would recommend this too. I feel like people with mature skin look absolutely beautiful in this foundation. So if you're looking for that hydration, some skincare kind of properties to it, and you do have mature skin, I feel like this lays the most beautiful on those I've seen with mature skin. It's such a pretty formulation and I just recommend it to everyone. It's so good. And I have a white one, as you can see here, because it's my favorite foundation for mixing. So this is the one that I will just add into any of my foundations to add a little bit more glow, adjust the color, cause I do have the white and I just think it's the perfect mixer. So if you self tan like I do and you wanna get use of some of your darker foundations, just get a white mixer and then you can utilize all your foundations and you don't have to buy two. So I have stopped buying two of the same foundation when I like it because I have this mixer and it just mixes beautifully and with everything. So this formulation, 10 out of 10 again, I highly recommend it. I know so many people love it, but this is my favorite for mature skin. My sixth place spot is one that I recently repurchased, ran out of a whole one of these and it's a fairly new foundation too. This is Makeup by Mario. This is the Surreal Skin Foundation. I have the shade 12O, which is one of the most perfect foundation matches to my skin I've ever found. It's such a good olive undertone without pulling too neutral, too warm. It really is a true olive undertone and is such a beautiful formulation because it has this mica throughout, which looks intense. When you look in the bottle, it doesn't translate like that at all on the skin. It's such a unique glow to the skin, I feel with this one. That's why I always repurchase it because it is like health in a bottle, but surprisingly really good coverage for something I thought would have a little less coverage when this launched. So this will provide you with coverage. I would say it's medium buildable, which is my personal favorite, but you can definitely get more full coverage out of this foundation, which shocked me when I first purchased it. it has a standard pump to it. And don't be afraid of the mica throughout because honestly, this just lays so beautifully on the skin, but I feel like this one specifically, for whatever reason, is kind of hit or miss with some people. So I would always recommend getting a sample in case you're curious. You can try out a bunch. <laughs> if there's some that really appeal to you, definitely get a sample of them. But this one for me always will be in my collection. As I said, I was using this every day for a long time that I had to repurchase a new one. One that I can rely on long wearing, of course, because every single one of these are long wearing. <laughs> they last on my skin. So none of these will fade away. They're all so good. Top five, always so exciting to share. Even though this top 10, literally, I would recommend all of these all day, every day, even 11. Are you ready? I'm not. This was so hard for me to place everything, but for my fifth place spot, I need to repurchase. I've just been using samples of it right now. So I have a bunch of shades in this that I've been using up, but NARS. Let's talk about NARS as a brand for foundation. They kill it. They know formulations, NARS does. Ever since I got into Sheer Glow back in the day, then their Tinted Moisturizer I love, moving into their Light Reflecting Foundation. And then my personal favorite is their Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation because it's everything it says in a name. It's everything that I want. I want it to be naturally radiant and long wearing. I feel like that's always the best for my skin. I don't like it to look like a mask, but I want to have that coverage. So it's like a natural mask, I guess, <laughs> because I do have a lot to cover and I do have texture and pores. So this lays so beautifully on the skin. It has the wear to it and it has that natural glow. It literally says everything it does in the name. It's the perfect name product. It's my favorite foundation from NARS. I have repurchased this, I think three times, but I have all these samples to use that I wanted to use them up before I repurchased again. And it was actually on my list for the Sephora sale that never happened for Canadians. Yes, I'm still bitter. Anyways, Canadian problems, let me know. <laughs> 
if you still feel my pain if you're Canadian, but that is my fifth place foundation. It is so good. Again, that one has been higher in my ranking before, honestly, because it is so good. And this top five genuinely was hard for me to place, but based on my use now and my preferences now, that's where it falls in my fifth place. My fourth place spot is a company that kills it for formulations for me, whether it's their concealer, their powders, everything about this brand, this has quickly become one of my top, if not my top brand for makeup. And they have amazing stick foundations, liquid foundations. They do no complexion. How I feel about NARS for complexion translates to this brand as well. And this is Hourglass. This is their ambient soft glow foundation. And when I tell you, when I wear this foundation, it's one of my most top complimented foundations for my skin. It looks so perfecting on my skin. I'm shocked. Every time I wear this foundation is truly a shock to me to see how it lays on my skin. And this is one of those foundations that I feel like is perfecting, not too matte. It definitely has like a soft glow, but more on the matte side, I feel like at least on my skin, but still looks beautiful on those with mature skin. If you have pores and texture with mature skin, this is what I would recommend to you if you need more hydration in the house labs, but this one for anyone who just wants to look incredibly smooth and basically perfect, <laughs> I would recommend this foundation because it is so good in both the wear and how it looks like on the skin. I don't feel like I have any pores when I wear this and I don't even need to powder it. I don't have to do anything to make this look good. You don't need to prime powder. It just has some sort of magic in here that just makes it perfect on the skin basically. And I have the shade eight. I thought it was a little too light for me at first. This is the one I went back to. This is also a brand new bottle that I recently ran out of. I had an empties video where I was just going through foundations like crazy. And as you can tell, like these are my most used for a reason. Like I love these repurchasable, all of them. And Hourglass, if you're looking for the convenience of a stick, they also have a really nice one as well. However, I'm gonna recommend my favorite stick foundation also in this video which leads me to my third place spot, which happens to be a stick foundation. And this is the very popular Tom Ford Traceless Foundation Stick. When they say traceless, they mean traceless. This is like the MAC in a stick form. It is so beautiful on the skin. And this one is in my third place spot because when I wear this, you guys give me the most compliments on this for my skin. This is what you guys always say I look the best in, in videos, is this particular foundation. I love the convenience of a stick. The only thing that scared me from trying this initially was obviously the price. It's Tom Ford. In Canada, this is like $122, I think now, which is ridiculous for makeup in general, but this was recently half off. So I know a lot of you picked it up to try it out and I'm so happy you did. And all of you have been messaging me saying how much you love it. So I'm so happy you love it too. It took me a while to try this out, but I see the hype in it. I love how effortless this is. I always know I'm gonna have a good makeup day with this. I use the shade 7.0 Tawny. If I forgot to mention all my shades, I'll have them linked below for you guys as well. So don't worry, they'll all be linked below and my shades. This one's great for travel, the ease of use. Also, it has a ton of product in here. So you look at the price, but actually I did a whole cost comparison between other sticks on the market and this isn't the most expensive out there per gram you're getting. So you're actually getting quite a bit in here. It's the biggest stick that I personally own. So yes, you're paying a lot up front, but you're getting quality product. And this on everyone just looks so good. I've never heard anyone say anything bad about this. It is really, really good. So if you're looking for the convenience of a stick, this is my personal recommendation for a stick foundation and made it into my third place spot. Number two, foundation. Where are the drugstore makeup products? Where are the affordably priced products? Here we are. We're in the second place spot for this one. And again, L'Oreal for me 
makes incredible foundations. True Match is another one that I was deciding to put in this video, but I figured I'm going with my favorite for L'Oreal in my second place spot, though there's so many that I could pick and be so happy with and have repurchased because they make incredible products. This to me from L'Oreal is basically what I wanted Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk to be. It has a better wear, but it has that thinness, the coverage, everything about it. And it is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. This is incredible. I'm sure a lot of you know about this foundation. I use the shade 470, which is so perfect for me. I was using something different before, but I love this shade. It is so good for my skin tone. I've repurchased this countless times. I can't even tell you how many of these. Some of the other ones I can, this one I can't. <laughs> That's why it is so good. It's at the drugstore, so it's easily accessible for a lot of people. And it's just one of those ones that you can rely on. I feel like this is especially good if you're going to a humid climate or if you're going to say a pool party or something. I don't know if there's claims of this being waterproof, but for me, this is what I wear for waterproof makeup days because <laughs> it's that locked on, but also looks natural out in direct sunlight. So I highly recommend this in terms of how it looks like on the skin, the wear, the feel of this, because I know I personally don't like to wear anything or feel anything heavy or cakey on my skin. Very thin, very skin-like, but has that coverage and wear that you're looking for. Perfecting qualities, obviously, because we have pores and texture over here and the best one that you'll find at the drugstore. So highly recommend the Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation from L'Oreal. My number one foundation, and this one doesn't get a lot of hype. I feel like you look at my top 10 and you're like, oh, I hear hype about this, 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 this. This one isn't hyped. This one isn't a popular one, I would say. This is my hidden gem and they'll probably discontinue it because I love it so much and that's just what happens with things that I love, unfortunately. So this is the Too Faced Born This Way Matte 24 Hour Undetectable Super Long Wear Foundation. <laughs> it has a huge name. And this one is the best match I've ever found for when I have a self tan. I'm wearing it on my skin today. It looks very dark in the packaging. It's like a frosted packaging. It has a pump on it, of course. And this one, I feel like I recently purchased and I'm already almost done it. I always reach for this foundation because it has the perfecting qualities for the skin. It makes my skin look so perfect without being double wear clogging because I feel like double wear gets to a point for me at least where it can be a little bit masky, even though it goes on thin, it's just so unnaturally perfect that one, that this one is not as matte and a little bit more natural. Unless you want that full on full coverage like double wear, this I feel like is that, but made better for my preferences because I don't like something so full on full coverage. It still has amazing coverage, but it's just more natural, which is what I'm going for. So this is my recommendation for a matte leaning look, but still I would consider this natural. It says it's matte, but I still feel like my skin looks natural with this, but also has the coverage, long wear, and the perfection that I'm looking for. It's everything in one. It is so reliable, so perfect, and I know people who try this are just like, wow. <laughs> Where has this been all my life? But it's such a good one. I do much prefer this than the original Born This Way foundation, which is definitely more luminous. I feel like that one is very comparable to Luminous Silk from Giorgio Armani. This is more of my personal better version of Double Wear, if that's your kind of preference. I personally would recommend this over that. It is so lovely and I know not a lot of people talk about it. So I hope you found something new in this video maybe to try out, but I am wearing that today and it is just my go-to. I need to repurchase it again. I go through them like crazy because I'm just always reaching for that when I want to feel my absolute best because it just makes my skin look and feel its absolute best. I just love it so much. So those are my top 10 foundations for this ranking video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was my personal favorite to film because I'm such 
a foundation lover. I'm just so passionate about finding complexion products that just are the best out there. And these are my personal top 10. I hope you've discovered something new in this video that you maybe want to check out, but there is something for absolutely everyone in this video, regardless of your age, your price point, the finish, the coverage, we have it all in here. You'll love something in this video. <laughs> They're all so good. If any of these claims spoke to you, I highly recommend that product. I'll have everything linked as always. And I would love to know what you wanna see next in my top 10 ranking video series. I'm getting close to the end, I feel. There's not too many more categories left, like powder and lips. What did I miss? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below, but I had so much fun filming this one. Thank you guys so much for watching, for spending some time with me today. And if you haven't already, I would absolutely love for you to subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell to be notified of all my future videos, and I'll see you guys in my next one.